Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode on the Lifecraft server. I am EnigmaCraft86, and I just want to say we have a lot of plan today. I don't think we're going to get it all done today. There's going to be a lot of resource gathering for a big, mega, mega project. And it's going to help us out quite a bit, especially getting XP and a few other things. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started in it. Uh, one other thing I do want to mention is thank you all for subscribing. At the time of this recording, we are over 500 subs. Wow, that is... I am astonished and amazed of how awesome you all are. So I want to say thank you again for all the support and everything. I always appreciate it. And if there's anything you guys want to see me do, like redstone builds or tutorials on anything, just let me don't know down in the comments section down below. And I will get to work on them. I know my videos have been a little iffy right now on time and everything. That's mainly because of the heat. A uh, little side note, I will, my office is up in the attic of the my house. So when it gets hot, it gets really, really hot. So yeah, just uh, FYI. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, there's a place we have to go visit real quick. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started in it. Hello, everybody. I'm over in the Mushroom District. Um, I don't know what they're going to call this, actually. We're going to come up with a name pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, a few things I want to talk about. Is I cannot. I love the little mailbox system we have going right now. That's actually pretty cool. Very uh, kind of rustic. I, I don't know if that would be the correct term for it. But, it, man, it's glad to... I am glad to see so many people on here now. But, um, they've done quite a bit over here. Uh, we got, like, a little spider farm right down there. And I decided to put a couple of turtle eggs over here so they would uh, breed up and everything. We have two over here, but I think one might be a little messed up because it won't breed. This one... Yeah, this one will breed, but this one won't. So, just one of those things. So, yeah, I put some eggs down there to make that. It's kind of its home area. And let's go check out this uh, spider farm. Okay, might help us out in a little bit. So, I heard it's like way down here. And, yeah, I guess follow the heads. That's kind of a given right there. Or the noise, one of the two. Wow, this is a nice little setup we got going here. Got an enchantment table over here, nice. And also, I want to thank somebody for uh, throwing me a shulker box and everything. I've been like harvesting things and putting them up in the chest up there. I need to do it again. Let's see, what is this? Have Bane of Arthropods, Fire Aspect, and Mending. Nice. Look at that. Pretty much a one hit kill. And yeah, that would actually make a great XP farm. Can I, can I repair you finally? Uh, eventually. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes, get this kind of repaired and everything. Most of my armor is still good. I still need to repair this as well. And hopefully, I can have a pretty decent XP farm myself. Well, everybody, since it's going to be probably quite a few days before all those uh, decide to finally hatch, go ahead and head into the nether and see if we can uh, did I bring them. No, I did not. We're going to have to go back to the base. I think the nether would probably be a little bit faster than uh, anything else. Mooshville, that's what it's called. But yeah, we just have to head back over there. It's not going to take me too long. It's actually a pretty quick trip through here. Since there's people constantly over there right now, they should grow up rather quickly. And I do not have my uh, gold boots on. So we're going to have to make this quick. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get through all this. And it's pretty well lit up. So I shouldn't have very many spawns in here, if any at all. All right, everybody. I don't quite want to lose my uh, pickaxe, my good one. This one I'm not too worried about. So 
Should be good on everything else. So let's go ahead and head into the nether once again. And we're going to uh, do something a little crazy for me. Well, since we are actually at, uh, what, Y level 113, we shouldn't take us too long to get up to the top of this. If I can actually make a staircase that's proper. And it should, like I said, we're just going to go up straight up to the nether. And you can kind of guess what I'm going to be building. Oh, this is something I didn't expect to find all the way up here. This is the first time I found this. That is kind of nice. I've been needing to get some of this. Uh, what biome are we in? Soul Sand Valley. Okay. Thought it might have been a basalt delta or something like that. I'm going to collect a few of these. Just to have. And make sure that's lit up. Because I don't feel like dealing with spawns. Alright. Go ahead and head all the way up. All right, everybody, I think I found the correct spot. Uh, you see, right now I'm standing at 24, 25, 26, 27. So I was off just by a little bit. And just to make sure, got the coordinates down. And let's pray I don't die from this. Almost. I got one more ender pearl. Can I do it? No. All right, I'm going to have to go get some more ender pearl. All right, everybody, it worked a lot better than what I thought. I think apparently I just needed that one last ender pearl, which I am trying to line up the coordinates, and it was right here. Go ahead and mark that block just so we know which one it is, and that's the one we're going to want to break. So it shouldn't take me too much to set this up. Basically, it is a couple pieces of a TNT. And, oh, I am glad I brought some wood on me because I forgot what the most important thing. Crap doors. So let me go ahead and get everything set up. This shouldn't take me too long. And, yeah, we'll be back in just a minute. And hopefully I'll have a hole in the bedrock. All right, everybody, this is a design I believe Rayworks came up with. or I don't know exactly where I saw this at. But basically you just put a piston here. And, well, I'm about to come out of this. Flip this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Well, that was a mistake on my behalf. And what was that noise? Anyways. Basically, we're going to want to put a couple more pieces of TNT. That, that was a horrible fail on my behalf. Well, at least we know the TNT part works. Put this here. And... Yeah, okay, that's going to work perfect. Oh, dang it. It pushed me out of the way. Luckily, I am picking up my uh, piston again. Okay. One more try. Or I am going to be uh, kind of stuck on the nether. And that would not be a fun time. Alright, got uh, just two more shots at this. Let me double check to make sure I'm doing this right. Well, it looks like I'm stuck up on the nether. And we're just going to make a quick uh, inventory dump. And... I guess kill myself on here. Oh, that's not good. I don't think I can glitch back into it. Ah, uh, I need more ender pearls. Well, this might be something I have to come back to. Luckily, I didn't lose too many things that are important. Most of this is just junk anyways. And I wonder, can I glitch back down into the bottom? Uh, let's put some torches on a few things so things don't spawn up here. Can I glitch back down? That is a question. Oh, really? Endermite. Well, so the answer is no. So I'm going to have to... Uh, off all my armor too 
And I guess, um, jump to my death. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes once I got some ender pearls and everything. Oh, look at that. You don't actually see this very often. Wonder if they're gonna take care of that one and do their uh, special dance. Let's keep an eye on them until they, uh... Oh, that one's gone. Wait, wait, is he? Nope, nope, he didn't do it. Wonder if I can, uh, crack a few of these guys over here. We're gonna try and bait some of these guys over. See a couple of them over there. Well, never mind, he just got wrecked. Alright, everybody, it looks like I baited a couple of them over. And then, let's see if we can get something decent from it. Fire resistance. Got a couple more ingots right here. I'm trying to get something in particular from these two, and I don't know how well this is going to work out. Magma blocks or magma cubes. Let me trade with these guys for a little bit. And let's see what I can get. Well, I did get a Soul Speed 3 book. I mean, that's not but too bad. All right, we get to watch a fight here. Uh, do we have any good spot to watch this from? Uh, maybe. I kind of want to see the hunt. They can do their dance. Oh, no dance. All right. Let's get back to the safety of our uh, area. And hopefully I can get over here before anything tries to murderize us. Alright, so we got a few ender pearls. Got actually a lot of uh, fire resistant potions and that soul speed free book. Which will be great on my netherite boots whenever I get them. But for the time being, I'm just going to put that away. Let's go ahead and head back to the base. And... I will figure out where I'm going from there because I can't keep uh, having this issue of getting up on top. So I'll see if this is actually possible. And yeah, we'll be back in just a minute. You know, sadly, I forgot I could buy Ender Pearls from this guy. So I feel like an idiot now. Let's go try this again. Really? First try again. Oh, I am just not having any luck with that. All right, I got some more TNT. Grab out our pistons, levers. Oh, let's try this again after we eat. The last thing we need is the lack of uh, saturation so we can actually heal up after we blow ourselves up. You know, everybody, I have those moments where I just sit there and think, how much of a fool I am. I forgot one important aspect of 1.16. And that is a fact you can build nether portals on top of the nether ceiling. So, let's go ahead and jump in there and try and fix my mistake. And yeah, let's get that done because this is getting kind of annoying. Alright everybody, the moment of truth. I got this portal set up a little bit higher than the other one. And built a little bit of a platform. And what we're going to do is simply just put a water bucket here in a minute and see after we see this, this works. And yeah, it should, hopefully it works. On top of the nether we go, hopefully. Nope. Not quite tall enough yet. So we're going to have to build this platform a little bit higher. No big deal. Maybe 110. So, let me go ahead and break this back down. Uh, it's trial and error. Alright, attempt number two. Look at that. We're back up on top of the nether. And if we go through here again. Perfect. That is what I wanted to see. Now, getting back down, that's a different story. 
I guess I can make a break for it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's my boots. Never mind. It has nothing to do with the weather. I forgot I had fr frost walker on. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, stabilize for a minute. And hopefully I didn't break my nether portal down there. It did. That might be some issues right now. There is a lot of bad things. Those guys right over there are the worst. So let me come back in a minute when it's a little bit brighter outside. I, just, I don't think I grabbed a bed. All right, now to test to see if the bottom one works still. Oh, look at that. We got it. Maybe not the most practical ways of doing things, but it works. So let me go ahead and get something set up for me to kind of come up on both sides. And yeah, we'll go. Well, yeah, we'll go from there. I need to go grab a few materials and drop off a few things. And I'm glad I can change out back into my diamond armor. That uh, makes me feel a little bit more secure. Need to get frost walk or er, soul sand walker on here. Or soul speed. A little bit closer. Oh, one heart. Oh my gosh, that was so close. So close. Ooh, that was a little, a little beyond risky. Wow, one heart. I still can't believe I made it though. Look at that. Now to work on that right there. I forgot I left a block. So let me heal up. This is that was pretty close. So I was kind of kind of shocked I made it though. Well, you all remember the uh, eggs that we planted at the beginning of the episode? Well, there they still are. Um, apparently it's taking them forever and a day to hatch. I didn't realize how many stages they have to go through. Right now they're on stage two, I believe. And there can be up to, I believe it was 15 stages. So that is going to be a, a little bit of turning, but it shouldn't be too much longer because they're supposed to be able to hatch faster at night. So I'm just going to kind of sit here for a little bit and there's a lot of fish over there. And help out with the farming over here. This is the Mooshville. I believe that's what we're calling it. Island. And yeah, I can help them out a little bit. Kind of stock up everything. And while I wait for this. And maybe also get some. Actually get some levels. Because of my mishap. Mishaps. I have to pluralize that. But yeah. So I'll be back in a little bit. To uh. Kind of repair everything and hopefully get some levels. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Or your time. Well, my time. Hopefully. Look at that. We actually have four baby turtles. Now I should have some uh, seagrass in here. Perfect. See if we can uh, make them grow up any faster, maybe. All right. I don't know what to say about this. I really don't. Kind of entertaining to watch in some ways, but that is a lot of particle effects. All right, I think 84 is enough. That's going to be way over enough. They just wouldn't stop breeding, so I didn't want too many over there. But I was like, yeah, might as well just pick up the eggs as they're coming out. They have a lot of leather. I still love the way they did this uh, portal. This is a very interesting generation. Like I got a basalt delta next to me, and yeah, that's where all the magma cubes are. I was kind of curious on what was down here, and trying to find an open area like this right here is what I was looking for, mainly because less area for zombie pig or zombified pig spawn. I have to make sure I say that right. I made sure I have my gold boots on just in case. Don't want to whack one of those guys either. No, it's actually not too bad over here. 
Not getting very much in the uh, piglins department. But yeah, I'm also still looking for one more biome, and I'm kind of curious on it. I've seen one around here. And I, because I'm looking for one more material to kind of start getting my, everything going. And oh, there's a ruined nether portal. You know, I have not seen a ghast yet either. Kind of interesting. Go ahead and hop up here. See if there's anything we can see up this way. There's the crimson. Not really wanting to go into there. Mainly because of the pigs. Keep my guard up while I'm over here. Is my armor's not the best in the world. Yeah, I am not seeing a warped force anywhere. But this is a nice big area that could come in quite useful whenever I am working on the uh, zombified piglin spawner. Now, I guess I need to try and make my way back to my portal. If I can remember how I got up here. Hopefully we can get back over here and get back up to safety. Well, there is a... Oh, gosh. So many of these guys. Nope. Nope. Uh, where'd I come in at? But wait, if this... There is an Enderman here. There was... I wonder where he spawned in at, and where is my hole? There it is. I'm blind as a bat. Eda. Make sure I mark this. Go ahead and head back to the base, and we'll go from there. I was just kind of curious. I need to dig down and get some magma blocks. But that might have to wait for another episode. Because I am running a little short on time today. With all the deaths and everything, kind of threw a kink and everything, but hopefully we can get more done in upcoming episodes. So let me go say what, how much I, uh, time I have left, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright everybody, with all the mishaps that we had on this episode, it kind of took up a lot of time, and yeah, I don't, I kind of want to get this video out for you guys, but uh, yeah, in a stream, we did a lot of nether resource gathering, mainly for magma blocks, and you guess how we did. Wow. Look at that. And we got a little bit extra up here. We did also gather quite a few of other things, and I believe that one was just netherrack. But yeah, look at that. And we also were able to, to accomplish quite a few different um, achievements, actually. Um, if we look in the achievement book, which I have never really taken that. Uh, okay. Um, paid that close attention to achievements, but in the nether, we got, let's see, where is it at? Ah, here it is. Explore all the nether biomes. We finally found a, uh, crim warp force. I have to remember which one it is. And we also destroy a gas with a fireball. Turn to cinder. That one's always a great one. That one, I don't know. We might actually try to do a lot of these uh, achievements, actually. I never tried to get a lot of them. I mean, we're getting there on this one. So, maybe every so often we'll do a few achievements here and there, see if we can get all of them done. That's quite a bit of them. I know the eating one is kind of a pain to do. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for the day. I do appreciate all the love I've been getting here lately. And, like I said, you guys are amazing. I don't know what else to say to you. Um, words cannot describe how astonished, or actually not even astonished, um, how pleased I am to see that people are enjoying what I'm doing. And everything. So, yeah, like I said, once again, 
I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Until next time, this is NimbyCraft86 saying, take it easy, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other awesome YouTubers down below. Show, their lo show them love and everything. And if there's anything you guys want to see me build or anything like that, just uh, let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, any builds or any redstone contraption you want me to try and work out, just let me know. And I'm going to quit going through that portal because that's kind of noisy. But uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy. Later.